With Hurricane Ida's aftermath still lingering in parts of Louisiana, Tropical Storm Nicholas is approaching the Gulf as evacuees head home. NBC 6's Yelisha Gatewood has the story. Heavy rain and wind from Hurricane Ida ripped through southern Louisiana, relocating many residents to Shreveport shelters. It's been over two weeks since evacuees left southern Louisiana, and now they're headed back home. Been here nine days. Um, I'm a single father. I don't have no place to go, and I'm, I'm seeking um, housing or, or, or maybe Section A or something like that for me and my, my son. He says he isn't sure what he's going back to, but is ready to start over. Hopefully I could, I could um, get back to the um, convention center in New Orleans, and hopefully they have maybe some kind of housing or, or maybe some other um, place, me and my son, until I can get back to work and find somewhere to, you know, get life started back again. Local organizations like United Way say they're here to help evacuees get back on their feet after returning back to New Orleans with what's called transition housing assistance. And so that if people qualify for that, and by qualify they live in the parishes that have been declared that way, they can go to a hotel in a 10 state region that is participating and they can get their housing covered. He says some buses left Monday morning and the United Way is continuing to give help where it's needed most. We're seeing some great things happen. We are so grateful to the people of uh, Northwest Louisiana who responded, who brought donations and, and just the generosity. We were able to help the people that were here. There are currently 80 out of 600 people left at the Juela shelter waiting to be taken down south. One New Orleans resident says they're just looking forward for brighter days ahead. We're mostly looking upon more sun and daylight because we've been having this every year. Alicia Gatewood, NBC6 News. Now, Wilson says they are overflowing with donations and can't hold any more, but they will let the public know when they are in need once again.